Thursday practice. We changed the car quite a bit this time. Uh, changed some swaver fitting and uh, shock adjustment. Try to build it out and see if we need more adjustment or not. Good to go? No. Fine. came up from the motor. That's what happened. It sucks, man, because uh, this could, this will be the uh, the last event with the, you know, with this S13. But already having a problem. <laughs> sucks. They're gonna have a long night. I feel bad. No good. Pizza, maybe. Libby Pizza? That's probably no. I can't tell it's a bad thing or a good thing until the event's over. Even we have to overcome this type of stuff if we can get good results. You know, that could be a good thing, so try to think positive. So is it going to be exactly the same as 11, 2011? I don't even remember what was. How was, you know? Well, let's host. No, it should be every bit of what you It's have. like a 500, right? Uh, 560, 580 to the wheels. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. That should be fine. It, it might do okay in qualifying. Yeah. I think when you get to tandem, you have to anticipate, like, well, we're going to have to experiment yeah. in the practice after Night. qualifying yeah. a lot. Stop. 
so it's uh, it's pretty late now and still working but there's nothing I can do here so I'm just gonna go back to the hotel and get some rest but they have to do overnight I think are they making fun of me I know that but anyways um, I'm sure the car will be 100% ready so I'm just gonna be ready myself and uh, I'll do it tomorrow see you at the track Back from the little setback we had yesterday, Scott worked all night to uh, make the old motor that we had from 2011 uh, work in the car. So he had to modify the exhaust system, fuel lines, a whole bunch of other stuff, get the car ready so he could be here today. So it's a little bit down on power. Um, we changed some stuff to uh, work with this horsepower level in the setup. So. Uh, yeah, well, I guess uh, we lost 100, 150 holes, but we got 200 horsepower worth of juju in it. Because it's a motor from that year we won the championship. So, you know, it, it means a lot for us. And, you know, this is the last event with this S13. And uh, I guess she decided to have the same spec as 2011. So, I think it's going to be pretty good. I mean, really good. I mean, it'll be the best. Okay. Yeah. The car's really good as uh, considering they did overnight swapping everything, you know. It's, it's very good, but just uh, I'm still struggling because, um, you know, the car is totally different. Um, we changed suspension setup, tire size, everything for the motor, so it's pretty much a different car. And uh, yeah, I just need more time to get the best out of it, but. You know what? We don't have time, so just do my best in a quarry fine. We'll see. Hey, you are better when you don't practice much, so. <laughs> I don't know about this time, dude. Good luck, man. Thank you. Two. 
hair, makeup, wardrobe? Well, I got uh, 82 something, which considering pretty good in this condition or situation. I think I made, I did uh, pretty much my best run so far, so I'm pretty happy about it. But I know where that I can make it better, so hopefully this put me in the top 16. I might have to run again, but oh well. So today's over, uh, had a hard day, you know, got new motor in the morning and trying to figure out what the best way to drive the car and everything, but I qualified 25th, so it's not the best, but at least uh, I'm in the show tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going up against Chris Forsberg at top 32. It's gonna be a really tough battle, but you know, I, I wanted to win, I wanted to win this round and I will win this round, so first step is to beat Forsberg. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and GT channel.